So what's up guys? We saw in the last section temperature and a little bit about heat. Now it's time to make sure make sure that you know the difference between weight, pressure and force and gravity. First things first, what's mass and what's weight? It's very typical that people confuse mass and weight. Actually, many people will tell you, I lost five pounds. And they will tell you that that's their weight. But actually, losing one pound is mass. And weight will be another stop that we are going to take care of here. Mass is the amount of matter, essentially how much stuff, how much material do you have. So one human will be probably, I don't know, let's say a key. This girl is about 56 kilograms. That for you guys uh, that are into the English system, it's about 100 pounds. This girl, if she's in the moon and if she's in earth, she's still 100 pounds because I don't know, all, all the body is the same. Hopefully you know that all the body is the same, even though she's in the moon or in the earth. Now, when we speak about weight, we talk about the accelerated mass due to gravity. So you have, you know, force equals mass times acceleration. In this case, one special type of force is weight, which is the mass times the gravity. Gravity is an acceleration, weight is a force. Mass is still mass. So even though the mass is the same, we know that the gravity on the earth is not the same that that on the moon, actually in the moon is one sixth of that of the earth. So probably she's 56 kilograms here, she's 560 newtons in the earth. And if you wanted to measure that weight on the moon, you will see that she's way lighter because you can, uh, you need less force to, uh, let's say, carry her. She will need actually 90 newtons to carry her. When in the earth, you will need 560 newtons. But the mass, guys, is the same. We're talking about forces, not mass. So just be sure about that. A mass of an apple in the earth is 0.1 kilograms. A weight of an apple in earth will be that mass times gravity, which will be 0.1 kilograms times that gravity, 9.8 meters per square second, which is about one Newton. The weight of an apple in the moon will be mass times gravity once again, the mass is the same, doesn't change. The gravity does change because it's another planet and it will be 0.16 newtons. So hopefully you know by now that mass and weight are not the same. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.